Hey guys and welcome back to scripting tutorial number 16 or should I say just welcome. So this tutorial will be um, obviously about scripting unlike the previous one. I know why the um, previous one was uh, not related to script but it just happened. So yeah, now we are gonna learn about welds. Um, to be particular, manual weld. So, how do you do that? Um, it's really simple. You just insert a script. Um, you can insert it into workspace, um, server script service, or server storage. I'm pretty sure it would work. So, we just need script. And uh, yeah, we just delete this. And uh, now, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to explain what is the weld. So weld is, um, at least in Roblox um, API, which is all this screen studio, um, it's a thing that uh, connects uh, uh, like uh, this part, for example, to um, other part, and it has off offset and uh, you can put it anywhere relative to like the main part, if you know what I mean. Well, you will get it soon if you don't get it. So it's kind of simple actually. All you need to do is, um, first of all, we need to do this when player enters the game. Although it's optional, but this is how you do this if you don't know. Um, just game dot players. This one um, dot player edit not at yearly. Although I'm not sure what it does. Um, and what's the difference? Column connect uh, and then function. Although it's kind of weird because if you see column, you, it's a function, so it's a function inside a function. Huh, interesting if you think about this. So, yeah, now we need to do is um, first of all, I forgot those brackets. My bad. Like so. And uh, we need to do um, simply like this, um, not in instance, dot new, and there is thing called manual weld, like that. And the warning is gone. And then, uh, well, we need to make it a uh, variable, so local um, weld, I guess, equals. Um, and now um, the world has a couple properties. So the first, is, first two properties are the parts. So um, we write part uh, zero equals all. Oh, I mean, I can just insert it if you want. So instance, apparently I had it before. So that's cool. So here's the manual world, it has those two properties and two a bit more secret ones. So part zero, um, it has to be object value, obviously. And if you change anything uh, with those parts, it, uh, it just gets destroyed. So yeah, that why, that's why it's called manual world, you do it by script. So yeah, part zero would be, um, wait. We need um, right here on PLR of player. To be honest, there's no difference because it's a variable, you know. And we write PLR and weld, not this, um, weld dot part one equals um, this part that I showed you before. Um, and you know how to access part space dot. Trust as it's, its name. So yeah, it has two properties, but now it has another one. Um, well, um, another two, I guess. So, um, first of all, is C zero or C O, I guess. So it's coordinate frame, pretty much. Um, well, maybe not really. Um, I'm gonna explain. So it is like offset point. And it's um, uh, from the part uh, zero, just player. 
So yeah. Uh huh. So um, we are not gonna do anything with it yet. I'm just gonna test this because I wanna show you that. So we just play, and I noticed that Roblox also got updated, and it has some um, some weird experimental mode, which apparently if I set it to on, it disables filtering. I mean that's cool. I mean I'm pretty sure that was for devs. Wait, what? Bad cast? What, what do you mean? Oh, I know why. Because player is actually a player. Well, never mind then. So, workspace, um, no. PLR, dot, name. Yeah, I haven't skipped it in like a couple weeks or so. So, yeah. Um, and then dot, head, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I guess. Because I don't see the actual part. I think. Wait, where? Where? I mean, it doesn't show an error, so that's good, I guess. Well, that C zero, it just makes an offset, and this is how you do this. Um, it's a C frame, obviously, and we write that new. And um, I don't know you can just write um, you can. I mean, you can make it in front of uh, the dude. So, I mean, that's the x-axis, so we need a positive x, I guess. So, um, we need 4, 0, 0. Um, and I believe C-frame has 6 values because it's um, position and rotation. Um, yeah, let's test this. So, yeah, if I anchor you. Because the part has to be an anchor unless it just would stay in the side. And as you can see, I look pretty weird, you know. And yeah, but at least it works. And it doesn't have collision, so yeah. It works, so that's the setting I told you. Experimental. Um, I don't know why this able square the filtering. But uh, yeah, as you can see. Um, if I put filtering enabled and I still on, um, just disables it. Like that, yeah, as you can see, filtering got disabled. That's weird. And there should be um, like a lot of new settings, but Roblox didn't add them yet. But I'm sure as you watching, um, uh, things should get updated and... Wait, what is this? Pretty sure that it was um well yeah or not. Um I think that's not basically never mind. Um let's see. Huh. Now um C0 property has like um at least well not C0 but C frame itself has like protection. So if you want to um, make uh, your thing um, that you are loading to, I know, play your player or your, um, I don't know what you mean, in your games, and to be like rotated, um, that means you need to do like this, um, C frame dot um, new again, but that's time C frame dot new and why are you crashing? Oh, thank you. <sighs> anyway, so you write cframe.new and then um, your axis, uh, it can be x, y, and z, obviously. And then you write like this. So um, if you want to turn it, um, first of all, I'm gonna make a model line comment for you to see that, um, like so. Um, so if you want to make a half a turn, you write math dot pi because it's related to circles. Um, if you want four a turn, uh, you write math dot um, pi times uh, I mean divided by two. If you want to, um, I'm just gonna write like this. 
Uh, and if you want half a crown, um, one divided by two, and you get a point, you just um, divide it by more things. Although mm, that pi number is not very accurate, it's like, um, like six um, digits, I mean six decimal places, I guess. And if you want to make uh, like um, smaller turns, you write uh, less, I mean you divide by more, and yeah. So I'll just uh, make uh, like maybe four for turn. So I'll just write math dot pi and divide them by um, four and then comma zero. Now it should get rotated. So oh, wait, I mean, I'm pretty sure I made uh, one uh, divided by eight, eight of a turn. I bet you. Oh, right. Exactly. I need to make it an anchor like that. Um, and now it works, I guess. Yeah. I think it's rotated. Maybe. Or not. Because that is weird, kind of. Um, I, mean, I can just make another axis hand also. Oh, I know why. I'm pretty sure. And I'm just gonna make one of this. Um, now it should probably work. Yeah, as you can see, now it gets like um, a bit above me. Yeah. Pretty cool. And uh, we can just make it like um, 10. And you can play around with values, obviously. But now it has another property um, C1. So C1 equals, well, this property is uh, for like uh, a bit more advanced people, as I like to say. And it's, it's uh, like divided by, I mean, subtracted by uh, C0 and it's also offset point and you can also just uh, look at the wiki what does uh, this property do I'm not gonna tell you because um, it's a bit too advanced but you can play around with math.py and those angles to make um, like perfect angle that you want to um, and I don't just make a flag which is uh, it's too sticks on player's head and I know just play capture the flag or something. I don't know, just make anything you want. And yeah, I uh, have to leave this here because um, that's pretty simple and I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.